This is James with BerryFlow.com. Today I want to take you through Invocation in BlackBerry 10. This is something a lot of people take for granted on their other operating systems, be it Android, iOS. Those OSs are just starting to get kind of good at this, but BlackBerry 10 has basically mastered it. This Invocation idea allows you to basically access applications and information without having to fully launch the application. This is done through some headless services and as well some background services going on device. So BlackBerry 10 has a lot of this going on. In fact, the entire OS is kind of built off these kinds of invocations. So for instance, if I slide over here and jump into my Facebook, you'll see I've got different items all built in here. Now, I can very quickly go through and access and invoke a Facebook card with the given information. I can do this very, very quickly. As you see here, it's already pulled in. I see the notification that loaded very quickly, but it actually goes through the process and actually loads me the full page here. Do I need that every time I check a notification? No, but BlackBerry 10 gives it to me without having any Facebook application actually launched. Here's the actual Facebook application. And you'll see once it loads up and I check on the notification toggle here, I can jump into that same exact spot. And again, it just invokes. So not only do I have this notification in view in the native actual application, I've also got it available here in BlackBerry Hub. It exists in both places at the same time due to BlackBerry's invocation. And again, I can close this out here and still over here in my BlackBerry Hub, I have this notification invoked. So again, very, very cool stuff here on BlackBerry 10. I can slide back out of here. This invocation, great in BlackBerry Hub, but it's also amazing in native applications. One of my favorites to test and show off uh, BlackBerry 10 notifications is black. So I'm going to jump to the top of this list here. And you can see these, these tweets are coming in in real time. This one's 43, 44 seconds. So this is an awesome application. The developers done a lot to build in a lot of keyboard shortcuts here as well. What I want to show you is how literally you can endlessly search Twitter. So let's go into The Verge. Uber trolls New York City mayor in its apps. You'll see this invocation is very simple. It's a card that pulls in a top. So the application basically was just going to cascade these different frames one on top the other. Because it does this, you can literally go endlessly between different parts. So I've gone now into this person's Twitter. I'm going to go through some of their tweets, see if they've mentioned anybody cool as of late. It doesn't look, basically looks like a lot of retweets. But let's jump in here under Lumia ES. Let's go see what those retweets are about. Maybe we'll jump over to Brian here. And again, you can literally endlessly search and go through different people, their tweets. And this, again, is a facet of the application that really comes down to the core of how BlackBerry 10 is built. You can jump back and forth between these different verticals so, so quick and easily. So security by design. Again, if I'm here, I can go in and access these options. But I'm still just within the black application. Now, if I were to slide back, it's going to take me step by step back through what I did. If I pull back here, it will take me back to the very beginning. So again, this is a simple back peek from the middle, and it will take me down one layer. Or if I swipe from the bottom arrow, it will pull me back to the very beginning. This is my actual timeline. So again, some really, really interesting peekability here within BlackBerry 10. If I swipe in the middle, I can literally swipe all the way back. Everything there is saved and cataloged. And this is the power of BlackBerry 10's invocation.